Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm gonna show you what is and how to make a data sheet. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, this is a tool of the description. It got the following characteristics. It allows to show how certain information was collected or the description of a specific product. There are two main types of data sheet. The one that describes a product or the one that describe how information was collected. The technical sheets are very important tool to validate the information the way that you collected. Um, also, the, spe the technical specifications of a product of any kind. This tool is used in any stage of design thinking in which beyond information gathering or finish a product development. Okay, so I was, I was telling you in the introduction, there are two types of data sheet. The first one is that we are gonna see is the one of how we collect information. When you are making a project, it's very important to have all the information of how was collected, how many people, the way that you took it, everything. And the second one is, for example, when you have a, a product in a supermarket, or any kind of product, there's always ha has to be a data sheet so you can see all the technical specification. Okay, so the first data sheet that we're gonna see is the one of recollect information. So this is the way I do my data sheets. The first thing is I, I choose uh, the tools that I use to recollect the information. It was a pool, it was a observation, or how, how, how else was it? I, over there, I specify which tool I use. Then I specify the number of people that participate in the survey or in the recollection. I have to be very specific because it's not the same if in my observation, for example, there was uh, 10 people. And in the poll, there were a hundred. It's different. So you have to be really realistic in how do you put all the information. If you are more specific in each uh, part, it will be better because people will understand better. After that, it's very important that you specify where the information was taken. City, which city, neighborhood, which neighborhood, a street, with which street. And it's very important that I make like a small draw of a map picturing the area where I recollect the information. If I did it online, I have to also specify how much time, everything. I have to specify where. Also, when the information was taken, it means the date, very important, day, month, and also very important, the time. It's not the same if I leave a questionnaire open for a month that if I only took the information for one day. Also very important to specify the communication channel. It was presential, it was digital, it was by distance. It means that you uh, send a letter to people and they answer the questions and put it back on the mail. So that is very important. These are the main three channels of a uh, recollect information nowadays. Then as, as a final part, you have to put all the elements of description. If you realize that you need to put something else besides the elements that we got on the screen, very important to a uh, Put that. So very important to put the purpose, what, what was the purpose of the recollection of the information, which tools you use, which resources you, you use, if you get any incentive for the participation as well, very important. How many people were involved? It is not just how many people you recollect, but also the people that helped you to collect the information. What was the communicational tone? That is very important because it's not the same talk to a young person that to an older one. So it's very important. If you make a questionnaire, how many questions you make. If you make an observation, how much time you took 
uh, did they people know that were being observed is that that is very important because when people is being observed they act differently they don't behave natural so it's very important that you specify if the observation was a regular observation or it was a, a hidden observation when the um, the recollection start at what time it end and uh, the total time of the observation. If you notice that you need to put some elements that are very specific to the recollection, you have to do it. So as I was telling you, this is the first data sheet and is when you recollect information. The idea of this is that people will understand the magnitude of your survey, of your pool, of your observation. And then we got the most traditional data sheet and is the one that we see every time that we buy a product. Because when you buy a product and you use and you see the label, in the label there is a data sheet and that data sheet got the spe technical specification of the product. The first thing that you will see always is the name of the product. Then what kind of product it is, if it's a software, it is furniture, it is clothes, it is food, what kind of product it is. Then you got the measurement that is very important. Height, broad, depth. Materials is made of what? And you over that will have a description, especially if it's food, you will have a very specific description of all the components and also the percentage of the substance in everything. Uh, also, there are certifications that uh, prove that this uh, product is healthy and is uh, supervised by any different kind of institutions. So over there you will have also the specifications. And also you will have precautions. Precautions are very important because it will tell you what kind of things don't do. For example, clothes don't wash uh, on the washing machine, uh, wash by hand. Or if it's something very fragile, you need to understand that and be very cautious. As a conclusion, we can say that the technical sheet allows information to be given clear and specify how the information or the description of a product. It is very important to be clear that the information that appears in the data sheet must be 100% real and validate any process accomplished. The key in the process is to be very detailed and include all the activities or characteristics of the product or the process. Especially this one, it has to have very specified characteristics that you have to put. You cannot say, oh, this has arsenic or this has poison if it's food. That is extremely important. You have to be very cautious with that. Thank you so much. I hope this video will be a big help in all your developments. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Remember that every Monday we have a new video in Spanish. Every Thursday we have a new video in English. We have Udemy courses in the description of this video. Uh, you can find the links. And thank you to all of you. We are the number one design thinking channel and agile channel in the whole YouTube universe. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.